In this video essay, I will be examining the similarities between City Lights, directed by Charlie Chaplin in 1931, and Ace Ventura, Pet Detective, directed by Tom Shadyak in 1994. Sir Charles Spencer Chaplin was an actor, director, and composer of the silent film era. He is widely considered to be the most famous man ever. He was the first movie star and in his prime was said to be recognized around the world. Chaplin was a perfectionist who would not rest until he captured the perfect shot or wrote the perfect music or thought of the perfect scenario to incorporate in his films. This could not be more true for his film City Lights, which took two years and eight months to make and 190 days of filming. The film received numerous changes to the plot throughout filming, which was not uncommon for Chaplin. However, the final product is very far from the initial idea. The 1930s saw the introduction of sound films. Chaplin, however, saw no interest in these. Chaplin is quoted in regard to his refusal of sound film, saying, I was determined to continue making silent films. I was a pantomimist, and in that medium, I was unique, and without false modesty, a master. Regardless, Chaplin began working on his new silent film, City Lights. He was taking a risk rejecting the new Hollywood, but he stood his ground, and the film was a success, and is considered by many to be one of the greatest films ever made. Fast forward to 1994, where we are greeted for the first time by Jim Carrey, star of Ace Ventura, Pet Detective. This film didn't break any records or receive any rewards, but it was the first time we see Jim Carrey on the big screen, and that puts the film in history on its own. It also secured Tom Shadyak's role as a Hollywood comedic director, and allowed for him to make many other comedic hits of the late 90s and early 2000s starring Jim Carrey. In the opening of the film, Carey takes no time before demonstrating his slapstick style of physical comedy. It's very Chaplin-esque and sets a perfect tone for the film and the character. Both films are shot throughout many sets, and although they do not have constantly consistent aesthetics, there are many cases where the films look very similar. Both films feature a scene at a luxurious party. Looking at these scenes, we can compare how Chaplin's character, The Tramp, and Jim Carrey's character, Ace Ventura, are very similar aesthetically. Chaplin's famous character, The Tramp, is dressed to fit in, but still stands out due to his obscure head and facial hairstyle and his use of almost unnatural movement. This can almost verbatim be said for Carrie's character, Ace Ventura. Throughout the party scene, you can always spot Ventura not only due to his bright shirt and extravagant hair, but also due to his obscure facial expressions and gestures. The sets in these scenes are very similar, and although that is not always the case, the sets of these films are almost irrelevant when actors like Chaplin and Carrie are on screen. These actors demand the viewer's attention and use absurdity and props to secure it. There is never a dull moment where one might stop and take in the surroundings. What truly makes these films so similar is their constant use of slapstick humor. Slapstick humor can be categorized as comedy involving absurd situations and often violent actions. The slapstick comics who want to stand out and be remembered often need to be more than just actors and willing to fully utilize every bone in their body just for a laugh. Chaplin and Carey both continuously use slapstick comedy throughout their respective films, but instead of just focusing on the bit and turning the movie into an abruptly moving disaster, 
They incorporate this slapstick comedy into the characters and ultimately the story. Both films flow well while also being very funny. This is also due to these actors or characters focusing more on the social absurdity of slapstick rather than that of the violent action, which can very quickly get old or excessive. To better reflect the amount of effort both actors use to incorporate physical emotion into their characters, various camera angles and often many close-up shots are used for each action. Silent films used to be filmed with one camera, which would look more like the filming of a live play presentation than what is typically expected from movies now. Chaplin played with camera angles, mixed up long and close shots, did much more editing than was common or expected. He paved the way for many filmmakers to come after him. This is evident when watching any scene from Ace Ventura. Both characters are quite static throughout their films. They are social outcasts with little awareness for social normity. Thus, there is not much reflection within each character. The Tramp, being Chaplin's most famous recurring role, would need to be this way. An audience would be far too confused following plot points strung together throughout numerous movies and multiple years. Thus, the character remains lighthearted and humorous. However, the ending of City Lights is quite powerful and emotional. It is far more dramatic than typical of The Tramp and Chaplin claimed it was his favorite scene. He was passionate about the serious moments his character would go through, although it was his humor that audiences adored. Ace Ventura is also a recurring role, having a sequel starring Carrie made just the next year. Thus, the character development of Ace Ventura is negligible. He stands out as an outcast in the beginning of the movie and stays that way throughout. This is not always the case for Carrie, who in his later career found the most success in his serious roles such as Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind or The Truman Show. Although this goes beyond the scope of Ace Ventura as a film, it represents another way Chaplin inspired comedy films as a whole. He proved dramatic and heartfelt scenes incorporated in comedy films works, which has now become incredibly common. Ace Ventura and ultimately Jim Carrey have shown that physical comedy, that which Chaplin really developed and championed, still has a place in film today. Carey, who received the Charlie Chaplin Britannia Award for Excellence in Comedy in 2018, honors the legacy of a man who once declined dialogue in his films just so he could better present his stories using extraordinary physical action acting. Carey not only pays homage to Chaplin with every film he stars in, but also proves there is and always will be a place for physical humor and more generally, slapstick in film. City Lights transformed all comedies to come after it, with Ace Ventura being a perfect example of how what was once considered experimental camera work would eventually become the industry norm, and how expressive facial and body gestures have a place in sound film, whether it's necessary or not. <laughs>